Hello everyone, my name is Otavio Santana, I'm glad to be here. Today let's talk about CDI extension. And why we should know more about this powerful tool to increase the Jakarta AE and microprofile environments? Yes. Probably if you gonna use anything related to Jakarta E and microprofile, it might have a CDI extension. Why? Because CDI right now works like a glue to join the several specification as one united in one single place. For example, uh, CDI configuration might have one, Jakarta NoSQL for sure it has one so probably uh, when you talk about increase the environment around Jakarta E and microprofile it might be related to CDI extension today we're gonna do a tip around that okay again CDI extension makes the Jakarta E slash microprofile environments tools frameworks integration great okay and today, I will just say how to do that and how it's possible. Okay, let's think about one sample that I have on my mind right now. So, by default, CDI works lazily. Therefore, it will inject uh, or create an instance only one when it's necessary. For example, let's create the domain start here, start. Okay, and sorry, no new, but the, the package start. Package start. And then I will create a regular bin where I will call lazy bin. This one here you be application scoped. And I will have my setup. I will put just application starting up on the lace way where I will put the post construct here and then some methods. So public void action. Let me do something. Okay. Right now I have this lace bin. I will inject here, but think about uh, a REST application, whatever you have in your mind. Remember, the main reason that I'm using a uh, plain Maven with Java SE is to focus more in the environment. Once you know how to use, yes, you are able to use on Jakarta E using server or REST application or any kind of solution like that. You don't need to do it manually. But anyway, I do have my lace bin, my bin, and then I will inject. So lace bin, bin. And then I will run the application. As you can see, there is, n there is no information about my uh, Application startup on the lazy way, okay? If I remove this comment, either, right? Because it doesn't make sense. As you can see, it will only show up when I need it. Pin action and this method here. And once I call the action, it will create and then initialize this class. So I will execute again. As you can see, I have my application starting up on the lazy way. And let me do something. So it will create or instantiate only when it's necessary. My question is, imagine right now that I want to create an extension to make possible to I saw my Java CDI container initialize. I initialize 
any kind of instance as well. Think about some cache, think about something that you want to load before somebody requests it. How can I do that? Basically, we're gonna do it with CDI extension. Let's make it with CDI extension. The first time, the first step is okay, let's create an annotation. Let we call startup. So it's start top where I have my orientation by runtime runtime and then my target with type with method with field with parameter let's don't care about any kind of thing right now I it's just uh, indeed okay that's I guess it, it's enough right so type and method I have my startup and the next step is to create my eager bean so I have my class I uh, you have my eager bean where it will use my startup annotation the eager way so let me do something right now I have annotation and then I have my my sample the next step is to create an extension to make it work so I will create a start top being extension okay this extension will implement the extension where I will have uh, my list of pin that I will inject and then it start. So I have my set of bin that I don't care. So start up pins where I will want to hold the, the positions because that I'm going to use my link in the hash set. To make it possible, I need to have two methods. One to do the process pin, another one after deployment validation. CDI extension has several events that you are able to explore. Each event is to one specific moment on the container. We're gonna use just these two, but feel free, free to explore the documentation and check the options so I use the observer if you don't know about CDI event please check out there is a video that I did exactly about that I have my process bin that is a she x and then my event basically what I'm gonna do and I will check the annotation if it has both startup and application scope it I will uh, include my startup list of pins and then I will initialize these pins so I will check if my event uh, get annotated is annotated present that is my startup class and my application scope it I will include this on my beans so add my event dot bean so I have my first event remember CDI event so it's a processing bean I'm observing and then after my validation it will create the this bin so after deployment validation I will observe a different validation after uh, deployment validation 
event and then my bean manager manager so this time I have my beans I will do my for it basically I will get my manager I will do the get uh, reference where I have my bean my bean thank you IntelliJ manager create cache no context bean and then I have a this two string here why I need to force to initialize the class remember by default it's lays lays and it will start when I really really need it to so that's why I'm forcing use my uh, two string as you expected it's it's gonna use SPI so service provider interface where I already have my class here so this class this file has the exact name of the interface if you don't know about SPI please look for it you're not gonna explore it right now but basically I have my start then my startup in a sec extension and I will start so I have just the lazy bean and then I you execute again and hopefully it will work as you can see I'm not using the year bean but anyway it it will start the year bean because it has the startup annotation hey what about you not using yes you're not using but anyway it will start and if I have my eager bean, my class already be there. I don't you create it. So I create here once. And then I do something. By default, CDI won't create. So if I delete this two, it will only initialize the eager one because the extension. So let's start. As you can see, application starting up on the eager way. That is it. Thank you for watching. And bye bye. See you next.